Welcome to Couple Crush. In this video, you're going to learn how to cut a man's pants. This is going to be a trousers with elastic waist. So please, if you are not yet subscribed, let's make a deal now. Hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell. Then hit the like icon. Please stay tuned till the end. This is going to be interesting and educating. So let's move on to the cutting table. So these are the measurements. We have the length the waist hips thigh knee and ankle so they are all important though but for this um, tutorial we are not going to need the waist measurements but when sewing it you will need the waist measurements so for the length we ha I have um, sorry that I'm going to be making it shorter so that you can understand better so what you need to do is to draw out your start line and then you now place your tape measurement and take your the length of the measurement so i have checked my length to be 40 inches and i have added two inches for hemming allowance so here on the start line i hope you can see the start line let me adjust it here is the start line call it the waist line so what you need to do is to place your uh, tape from the start line and mark out your crotch line and how you get your crotch is the hips measurements divided by four if you want it to be a little bit freer what you need to do is to add one inch but for me I'm not going to add any inch so what you need to do is to measure your crotch mine is nine inches so that's what I'm going to mark out After that, you still need to mark out the same 9 inches on the waistline and on the crotch line. Then you roll it out. So here I have a perfect square of 9 by 9 inches. So the next thing for you to do is to take note of the knee line. To note where your knee is going to be placed, all you need to do is to take the length, the full length of the trousers divided by 2 plus 1 inch. Mine is 40 inches divided by 2, which is 20, 20 plus 1 inch is... Um, going to be 21 so please ignore that noise from the background so what you need to do is to mark out that 21 inches here we have 21 inches and this now becomes your knee line then we have the ankle line down there so to cover your crotch all you need to do from here you're going to place your thigh measurements plus two inches allowance or you may decide to use another formula for that but for this one i'm going to use um i'm going to add two inches to form my crotch so after that you're going to connect your crotch um, you're going to form your crotch this way using your cuff driller to form your crotch then after that you're going to uh, mark your your hem or your ankle so what you need to do is to take note of the waist and your hips measurement this hips measurement divided by four is um, the one that you had for both your waist and your crouch so what you need to do is still divide this by eight and 36 divided by eight is what you're going to place on the ankle so 36 divided by four is um uh, sorry divided by eight is four and a half so what you need to do is to mark out the four and a half here this will now be as your guideline your center point to place other measurements and that's what you're going to do for the ankle line i mean for the knee line you'll still mark that for 0.5 on the knee line then what you need to do is to take note of your ankle is 14 divided by 2 
which is seven inches then the seven inches you are going to place it here allow your 3.5 to fall on the line that you have marked here so that means 3.5 on one side in 3.5 on the other side from this cent uh, center line that you have marked out then that's the same thing you're going to do for the knee line 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches then 9 inches is what you're going to mark here then that means you're going to place your 4.5 on this mark that you have here 4.5 here and 4.5 here then the next thing is to connect these lines starting from here to here here to here and then taking it to your your, your hips line I mean your crouch line so after marking it out this way this is what we have here then the next thing is for you to use your curve ruler and cuff it out from this point down to the knee line that's from the crouch using your curve ruler connect it down here and that's the same thing you will do here sorry for that so what I did is to connect from this knee line to the crotch line then the next thing for you to do is to slope the front part of the waist and that will be we're going to uh, create an inch slope starting from here just create the slope this way mark out one inch and then connect it to the waist line this way So this now forms your new waistline and it's not straight but it's slant so after marking out those points all you need is to cut it out just for the lines that you have um, marked out and use your scissors to cut it out following the lines after cutting it i'm going to show you how it looks like so this is what we have for the front and remember when you want to cut out this part make sure to fold in this uh, hemming allowance so that while cutting it this way you have um, no problem or no issues when you are hemming it and note that i did not really cut it on the line that i marked because i have this um uh, 0 0.25 inch left so that when i am overlocking it any kind of trimming that i may do well um, overlocking it it will not be a shortage to these outfits so now let us move on to the back parts so after folding the back parts make sure that um, you have about four inches because these four inches you're going to make use of two extra inches for the crotch part of the back and perhaps two inches for the allowance that you did not put in the front remember when we were cutting the front parts of it we did not add any allowance so all the allowances will go to the back then what you need to do after folding it, I have placed the front part on the back part. So what you need to do is to trim out this other part of the um, trousers. So what I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim out this part to um, have the same shape with the front, only this part. So just watch. after trimming out this part now you get to shift this um, trousers for about two inches so what you need to do is to mark out two inches around this um, the, the, the back part of it check out what I'm going to do on the hem line I am marking two inches so these two inches serve as the seam allowance that we did not put for the front so we're going to mark it two inches in this other part Now, after marking the two inches around there, 
all you need to do is to lift the front part of it to align with the two inches that you have marked around like this so that means that there will be space that space of two inches for the seam allowance so after that you need to trim off this point to the knee line remember only to the knee line this way and here is my knee line so what we need to do is to work on both the thigh back uh, thigh, the back part of the uh, trouser both the tie and the crotch that will be the difference between the front and the back so remember that I have just adjusted the cloth so that you can see clearly what I'm going to do since I'm unable to roll and uh, roof the camera so this is the knee point so what we need to do is to come to this crouch see this crotch you're going to come in by two inches so you're going to mark two inches on the crotch line this is the crotch line that's the back part of it you mark two inches and then you come down by one inch that's from the crotch line after marking two inches you come down by one inch then coming to the waist part of it you mark it up here by two inches there's two inches from the waist part of it two inches up then from this point you're going to connect with your curved ruler down to this point so just watch what I'm going to do to form a J at the back part of it. I'm sure you can see what I have done. Then from this point here, you're going to connect it down to the knee point. And make sure that you place the ruler in such a way that it is not too curved. So this is what we're going to connect from here down to this other point so these now form the back thigh and the back crouch and the back waist so from this point here you will now connect it down i hope you can see what i'm showing you sorry oh sorry 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 that yes, i have not adjusted it properly so what i did was to measure from here two inches up to this point then I mark the two inches. Then I place the ruler from here, from these two inches, and connected it down to one inch below the crotch line. So that gave me this curve. Then from this point that you have marked out two inches, what you need to do is to connect from this point to the waist line. From this two inches up down to the waist line. So if you look at it, I have connected the line from here here down to the waistline so this is now the back waist it has to come up by two inches or more depending on how the person's buttocks is if it is bigger you can come up by two and a half but if it is not um so big normal as it is you can just come up by two inches then you connect you have the waist then the next thing is to cut it out so you follow the line and cut it the way you have marked out. Then you connect, you can cut it to the knee line that you have cut trim off before. So this is what we have after cutting it out. This is the front and this is the back so that is how far we can go for today here is the front part of it and here is the back part of it i'm sure you enjoyed the video so please subscribe and turn on the notification bell then you hit the like button i would like to know your thoughts so please comment it in the comment section below Thank you so much for staying tuned. In my next video, you're going to see how I will go about sewing the, um, the trousers. So, bye-bye for now.